Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now, today, people, today, I'm going to try to make this video a little bit shorter than usual, um, just because, like, I just finished recording one session and ended up panning out horribly, so I deleted it. So I'm going to try to make this quicker because I have to leave at some point, right? We're playing Rotoms today, so I'm really excited about this. I love playing Rotoms. Uh, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Remember, 50 likes is me and next day upload. You guys have been killing it, uh, so I appreciate it. Keep it up. You guys are the reason why we're getting it. We almost hit 5,100, which is crazy because we just hit 5,000 like 10 days ago. So, like, keep up the support, guys. I do greatly appreciate it. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm recording this on Community Day, so I'm about to go. I have to go do some work before I go do Community Day. So I gotta make sure I do everything, get everything done. And uh, yeah, if there's a competition day for a chance to win a couple lost under goes, which is which is which is what is your favorite pet deck? Uh, like not a deck that's not like completely meta, but you still go to tournaments with because it's fun to play and things like that. For me, it's Pissimian. Uh, I think Pissimian is one of my favorite decks of all time. I love playing Pissimian. Uh, now that we have all these new counter energy tools, uh, the counter energy Pokemon, Pissimian is a lot more fun for me too. So that's my answer. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Also. Check out our sponsors at Guardian Gaming. Always supporting the channel. If you want to buy some codes, go there. And you can get 5% off using code ORBOMB. So I do greatly appreciate all you guys that have been supporting lately. And we're going to get right into it. Now we're playing Rotom because we have Roto Motor, which means if you have nine tools in the discard pile, you can ignore the energy costs and the attacks, which means we can attack for free, which is why we're playing no energy in this deck. And uh, we're going to go over the deck briefly because the decks, the, the, the cards are like kind of self explanatory. Uh, we have the new adventure bag, which lets, get, which lets us get two tools into our hand, which means we can discard them with Ultra Ball, Treasure, or with Zepstrika. We are playing Zepstrika in this deck. The reason why we're playing it is because even though it's broken, and by the way, I do want to mention this, uh, Sprint lets you uh, discard your hand even if you have an empty hand. I know a lot of people were talking about that in my other video, uh, but it does work because in order for it to, in order for you to have the cost, it has to say, once during your turn, you may discard your hand if you do draw four cards, but it doesn't have the if you do part. If you do part, it just says draw four cards. Those of you that are playing a couple months ago, you know that Sycamore was the same way. You could draw seven cards even when you had an empty hand, hand with Sycamore. So, Zipstrika is the same way. But we are playing Zipstrika because we want to discard tools. So, Zipstrika, we should usually have a full hand if we're going to use its ability. Which is why we're playing Zipstrika in this deck, even though it's broken. And, uh, yeah. Let's go over the deck, I guess. For your treater and fan rotom, also spinning fans are pretty decent attack. Just the top of Pogo spread is pretty handy. Fan uh, heat rotom for deciduous and metal type Pokemon. Mo rotom because it discards special energy is also good for Lycanroc. Uh, two two Blitzel. Everything is a one of, by the way, only because we don't have space in this deck to play more than one of. Like this, you need that consistency if you're gonna attack with rotom because you can't be that. But if you're too many turns behind, you lose the game. Just that's that's it. That is what it is. There. Three Marsh Shadows just to disrupt. It also gives me more more cards to target with Mysterious Treasure. So uh, three Marsh Shadows. It's very very good in this deck. Uh, four Psychic Rotoms, no Electric Rotom. There's not enough Electric Weak Pokemon for me to care about playing Electric Rotom. If there's going to be a Fire deck, it's going to be Pacephalon anyway, so I'm not worried about Ho. And uh, it gives me an excuse to play Spell Tech, so I like Spell Tech. And then one Frost Rotom. Uh, we have four Adventure Bag. Uh, oh yes, I'm playing Frost Rotom over Wash Rotom. Wash Rotom is exclusively sniped, so I can't use like Choice Band and Wash Rotom to hit 160 on a on a. Uh, Cephalon, so we have to play Frost Rotom if we're going to try to target Cephalon. Although this card can probably be cut because uh, usually Frost Rotom, like if you're going to if you're going to play against Cephalon, uh, they won't have as many energies on the board, and Frost Rotom hits for the amount of energies they have. Uh, so it might not be useful. We'll have to test the matchup first because they're usually going to attack with Noggin Adele because Noggin Adele can Oko all my Psychic Rotoms or my main attackers. So in theory, it should work, but there's also if they if they play around it, it can not work. So I might cut it, but for the time being, we're playing it in. Uh, it gives me a water type deck, so whatever. Four adventure bag, four treasures, uh, two stretchers, four ultra balls, uh, three shrine of punishments, uh, four Cynthia's, four Guzmas, two uh, lilies, and three sightseers. The supporter line, it's pretty thin. It's thinner than what I usually play, right? Although, kind of. Like, we're still playing, like, nine draw supporters. It's still kind of hard to find them early game, but it's fine. We should be okay. Uh, we're playing sites here because we have a lot of tools. Four choice bands, only three choice helmets. Uh, I figured that if we have 15 tools, even if six are prized, we'll still have nine to discard, so we should be okay. Uh, four escape boards and four spell tags, but that's going to be the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of games. Look at that. Deck profile done in under five minutes. New record. Um, hopefully, we can win a couple games today. It is Rotom. It's not exactly the most competitive deck, but... Uh, if we can find some matches that we can hit for weaknesses, we pretty good. In my previous matches that I recorded before I had to toss it because of like audio issues, uh, we lost. We had to play against Gramble and Glaceon. Both of those decks we can't hit for weakness. We still managed to squeeze out the Gramble game. We lost against the Glaceon deck game, but that's because I realized I, I wasn't recording. And I was just like, you know what? Screw this. <laughs> I just forfeited. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm done.
Um, we'll go ahead and lead with this because we're going to put a skateboard on it anyways. Although our opening hand's pretty whack. It's like super duper whack, actually. So we can top deck something useful. I mean, that gives us a free retreater, so it's not like the end of the world. Um, we'll just end here. I don't want to play down Rotom if I don't have to. My bench space is pretty tight most of the time. This is pretty good. This gets us... We'll just toss in a skateboard. We don't need that many skateboards. We'll get a Psychic Rotom down, and... Uh, I'm going to Marsh Shadow, because early disrupting seems like kind of fun. And we already have a Substrike it down, right? We have a bunch of cards that are already off the board. And then putting them down to four cards seems pretty good. And we can make this active. If he takes a knockout, then that's good for us. And we even have Lily, so the hand ended up working out quite nicely. We can play down this other Rotom, and then we can Lily next turn for a couple cards if we need to. I do want to keep my my Guzmans around. Probably should have gone to this, but I do want to keep this around because it's a pretty good attacker. Uh, after you get some spread damage done with uh, your spell tags and stuff like that, it's not a bad attacker at all. Hopefully, this disruption ended up working out in our favor. Oh, it didn't. Never mind. <laughs> they got Lily. Uh, or Lele. We should get some Lily. If they play Lily, of course. I know my opponent's playing, obviously it's Fairy Nine Tails, but I don't know what, what deck it is yet. Oh, they're playing Elm, so it's probably Decidueye. Decidueye is a rough matchup because that spread damage with Decidueye is really, really bad. Oh, maybe it's not Decidueye, maybe it's Sogaleo. Sogaleo is, uh, I mean, Sogaleo needs to use a lot of energy. Oh, it's Metagross, so still a pretty rough matchup. <laughs> we need to find our Shrine of Punishments, and we have to find our Heat Rotom, and we have to make sure the Choice Man gets attached to our Heat Rotom. We don't hit anything for weakness, unfortunately, when we uh, attack with Psychic Rotom. In fact, we hit for resistance, which is bad. Uh, so it's going to take a minute <laughs> to win this game. If hopefully we can, though, hopefully they whiff enough max potions to where it's not a huge issue. Another Sightseer. I'm only drawing three off this, which means I'm probably going to play Sightseer, which also let me draw three. So I'm going to, yeah, we'll play the lead then. I want to hold on to a bunch of cards, man. Okay, we found a thing. Not a good thing, but a thing nonetheless. So we'll just pass, I guess. That's This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. All right, let me find another, like... Dude, I need to find, like... I need to find stuff, bro. Let me find another Marsh Shadow. We have four Ultra Balls, four Treasures. Um, we need to discard tools. And we need to find Ultra Ball to find some Strike Us. So we can start discarding more tools. We got to find a lot of things here. But unfortunately, we only have... I think one tool in the discard pile now, which is bad. That's very bad. We are not pulling off the strategy very well. But it's the, it's the luck of the draw, I guess. We have as many cards as we can play. Maybe we can find ourselves a... I might have to discard my whole hand. Actually, I can't discard my whole hand. I need to find Marsh Shadow this turn now, which is really just annoying. Uh, okay, that gives us Marsh Shadow at least. So let's go ahead and do that. I gotta be careful with how many choice bands I discard, because I'm gonna need them for Heat Rotom. But my shadow, super important here. And hopefully we can get enough energies in the discard pile. And hopefully we can find Substrike it too. That'd be pretty handy. Uh, we did find Heat Rotom, but we did not find Spell Tag or a way to do anything at all. So, uh, <laughs> that's exciting. Um, I think we have to goose my ear, because we can't let this... This keeps an energy on this, and I don't want to just let this thing prosper any longer. So we're going to Guzma up and Beldum. No, yeah, Beldum. Uh, we'll Guzma up and Beldum here, and we'll go back into the Rotom. And just pass. Alright, let's find Zipstrika. Come on, game. I guess I maybe could have sightseered and then, oh, nice. That's what I like to see. Stuck hands are happy hands. Pass again, dude. Yes, that's what I like to see. Come on, game, hook me up. But with not zips, oh my god, game, hook me up, dude. <laughs> I need things, please. Pretty please. I would love things right now. Oh, my opponent's gonna get out of this situation now. That sucks. I can just go back into Vulpix, and here we go again. Game, come on. Ugh, it's frustrating. The worst part is that I'm going to have to Ultra Ball away my Heat Rotom if I find Ultra Ball just so I can Zip Strike and shuffle back in my my thing in the same time. So this is not a... Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, here we go again. I'm just going to lose. I'm literally just going to lose. I can't do anything about it. Here we go. I mean, maybe trying to punish him. Maybe we can knock out this lady before he finds max potion. Like, best case scenario. 
I'm gonna put all the damage counters on that lele though, because I want to knock it out. Can I do that really? I don't think I can. Um, if I put four damage counters on this and get choice band, and uh, well, I mean, trying punch is gonna take care of it, right? Maybe I should just try to knock out Cosmog or the other Beldum. There's Blower. He's gonna be my shrine, so never mind. Um, yeah, then I'm not gonna put damage on the lele yet. Then do I want to? I mean, I'm afraid of max potion, so if I put all the damage on one basket, I'm just gonna get knocked out, right? I don't want to do that. <sighs> you gotta run my spell tag anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it's another tool in discard, probably, I guess. Draw? Game. 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 Ugh. <laughs> so mad. Stop this game. I would appreciate it if you stopped. I don't know what to do. Like, we're just drawing until we... <laughs> okay, so there's the argument of that I can use Adventure Back to thin my deck, but then what if he judges me, right? Then I'm just, I'm overall increasing the consistency. I'm like, I'm putting more cards back in the deck because Adventure Back could have thinned it later. He's in an algorithm instead, which is horrible for me because now he just played around everything and I want to die. Okay, let me try to find another Marsh Shadow. I should have one more in the deck. Bro, I'm telling you, man, I've had a rough morning and this is not how I want to start my first battle. I really don't want to start my first battle by like by having this. This is very frustrating. Oh my god, wow, it's so hard, isn't it? It's just so hard to have these cards, isn't it? I'm gonna have to find Mars Shadow here. The algorithm, so we don't have a choice. Um, I can get the other spell tag, but I don't want to. Doesn't matter because I can't exactly make this unactive. Mm, at least we have Cynthia. I need to find Shrine of Punishment and we need to find ways to discard tools. Alright, we found a way. And we have Zubstrike and we have Shrine of Punishment. So thank you, game. It wasn't that hard, but you had to make it difficult, so whatever. Um We don't need to Zubstrike at this turn. Choice Helm was useless just in general in this matchup. I need to keep Choice Band around. Actually, what I could do is, uh, no, I gotta, never mind. We can't do that. Um, I guess we can get rid of the skateboard. We have the, we have one skateboard on board and the other one right here, so. Ultra Ball. We can toss the Grass Rotom because we're not gonna need it. So let me find that Grass Rotom. We can just Substrike it here, honestly. Shuffle back in the other Psychic Rotom, which is fine. I mean, it's not fine at all, actually. Cause I need to use, I need to save this for the, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven right now. He'll make it eight. Yeah. I'm going to try to save this stretcher for a, for the heat rotom. I'm going to pass here. Because like best case scenario, right? We can find Heat Rotom into a oh, frying pan. Why are you playing frying pan? <sighs> I get why he's playing frying pan. But Stefan's a deck. But I think we just lost. Like this is awful. He takes. I'm gonna have to start damaging this top Lele now. But with frying pan down, we don't have field blower, so now we don't hit it for weakness. So now the whole the whole stretcher thing is kind of a mute point. Um, yep, there there we go. <laughs> there goes my chance of winning. Oh man. Alright, I mean we don't lose yet. We only we hit him for a hundred between by attacking, I guess, but a hundred's not enough. Like a hundred is not enough at all. Luckily we saved those spell tags though, because we're gonna have to try to abuse those spell tags now. He passes, he's 110, uh 150 with me. I pass, he's at 160, he can heal. So um doesn't matter. I don't think it matters too much. Whatever. Put the other three on Beldum. If he doesn't involve this Beldum, we get the prize, I guess. And the next time we can use a spell tag, we can take a knockout on this. Although I might just attack with this. Maybe I should have put in a range of Heat Rotoms, uh, of Fan Rotoms attack, but it doesn't, it's, not that, it's not that important. Um, all right. Marsh Shadow again. That's not super great. Let's just go ahead and shuffle back in those dudes though. 
believe we only need to put in one more tool in the discard pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have to put one more tool down there. Um, do I want to Ultra Ball? If I Ultra Ball, what do I get? Heat Rhythm doesn't matter anymore. We'll ultra Ball. Because I can always just Guzma. I don't want to use that to support it for turn. Let's find Psychic Crotum. Oh, I can't Zip Strike it, can I? Not with an empty hand. Right? So maybe I should have grabbed something else. I forgot about that. See, this wouldn't be an issue if it was fixed. I'm going to have to do this then. Man, I, I'm going to have to do this now. That's not great. Well, at least we got the play. Uh, we keep spell tag and choice band. We discard choice band. That's what we do. And we play this down. I'm going to hold on to this ultra ball. We're just going to do this instead because that's my support for turn anyways. Um, all right. So now what do we do after this? This might be useful if he like decides to rain down with energies. Uh, spinning fan is an attack we can do. If he pass, he's at 160. If he doesn't heal that turn, he gets knocked out. Uh, we're not going to spin fan. Yeah, we're just going to hit him with this. Five slice. I need to put down another Rotom and another Spell Tag. We have an Adventure Bag though, so we should be okay. Alright, so now we should be able to take a knockout. If he attacks us, that's going to be pretty good. <sighs> We hit for a lot less damage because of this. So not only do we have resistance, we also have this thing. So we're doing minus 50 damage. We're only hitting him for 70. Uh, I guess in hindsight then, attacking with Heat Rotom is probably better. Because at least Heat Rotom can hit for more than 70. Alright, so this is really good for us actually. Because now we can actually do spread damage. We have the Guzma though, which we don't have in hand. Because we have to draw the Guzma. Which is also not good. Um, That's like super not good actually. Hmm. I can Marsh Shadow. I don't really want to Marsh Shadow. Uh, because, like, we're not going to draw the Guzma that way. We have to draw a Guzma here. We have three more left in deck, so we might be able to draw it. Uh, what we don't need is Frost Rotom. Uh, I'm probably not going to use Marsh Shadow. Let me go ahead and toss Frost Rotom uh, to get my last Rotom here. So we can attack with this dude. And I guess we hit Sogaleo. And Heat Rotom can still attack Sogaleo, so that's something actually to keep in mind. In fact, I'm probably going to attack... No, I'm going to attack with this. That's, that's the game plan, right? So let me go ahead and get the other spell tag. And we'll keep the choice ban in deck, because we don't have the thing in the hand right now. Uh, so... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, this is what we want to do, right? And then we're going to have to do this, and we're going to try to find Guzma. I'm, I was thinking about playing Cynthia, but I realized I can't play Cynthia. All right. Counter energy, um, there is Guzma. Alright, that, this ended up working out quite well, actually. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Do we want to damage? Do we want to strand active, I guess, is the smarter. I mean, we can't strand anything active, right? Like, we can't actually strand anything active. So, we can go into Sogaleo and just attack and take two prizes this way. We're not going to be able to proc spell tag this way, but Spinning Fan will be able to knock out at least Lele. And then we hit full damage on the bench because we're not targeting the, one of the dudes that has... Because um, the, the active does not have the thing. There's our other Guzma and a Lily. Uh, Guzmas are going to be important, especially since I'm going to definitely knock this thing out next turn. Like 100%. I don't know why he hasn't been abusing this Sokaleo. Does he just not have any more psychic energy? or metal? Oh, he doesn't have any more metal energies. Oh, that's actually kind of crazy. All right, so we're Guzmang next turn because we have the choice band in hand, right? So we hit one, we hit enough for knockout. So that's pretty good. And then Heat Rotom will be able to take care of the rest, or Psychic Rotom will be able to take care of the rest of this game. So Heat Rotom is going to come in clutch. So I'll take that. And that continues. That means he has no more metal energies in the discard pile still, which is good. Although, yeah, as long as he has no metal energies in the discard pile, we should be okay. Oh, he's gonna get Sogaleo Prism. That's another card we can take care of with Heat Rotom, so I'll I'll take care of that. That's that's okay with me. Any spell tag knockouts means I can knock out things like Ulfix and this uh, Beldum over here, which is really good as well. Uh, and then we have a couple more Guzmas in deck. We should have two more Guzmas after this, so I play four for a reason. And hopefully he doesn't have any max pots, right? Because his deck looks pretty thick, so if he doesn't have any max pots, that's really good for us as well. And there we go. We 
that. So just take a knockout here. Another two prizes. So we can win this game now. In fact, all we have to do is knock out those two babies on the bench and we win. So uh, I will take that. <laughs> that sounds like something I will take. Uh, so all we need now is a Guzma. And this we hit this thing for 70. Okay, now we don't win anymore. But we have a chance. We have to knock this thing out. This does the most damage to it, and he has max health. Never mind. Uh, all right, uh, this actually has weakness. Oh, we can win if he doesn't have another. If he doesn't have another pan, we actually win. All we have to do is find our last Guzma. We have, we have, we have banned. We have. Oh, we have one more Guzma left. There's only six cards left in my deck. I think we can win. If he doesn't find the last frying pan or another max pot, we win by knocking out this Metagross here. So can we pull it off? He has a max pot. Oh, he did put it there. All right. So that's still fine. Oh, dang it. Mm. All right. No, we can still win in a different way. Now we just have to win by knocking out this into a into a Vulpix. And unless he play, if he plays Nine Tails, I guess it's not the end of the world because we can still damage it. All right. So we still have a game plan here. Now we have to knock this out instead, uh, which means I mean, we hit it for weakness. So we hit it. We knock it out regardless, right? So. And if he ever knocks out a Psychic Rotom, we win the game. Because uh, we just knock out that Vulpix, right? So, that's a new game plan, I guess. But we have to find Guzma this turn. Which is... Which is bad. We have to top deck it... Nope. Um, hmm, let me think about this. Because we're going to deck out. How many Ultra Balls do we have left? Because we can very seriously deck out here. Uh, I, think, I think it's Greedy. Doing it this turn. Uh, can you wait like five minutes? I'm almost done. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to Sightseer. Because I'm still going to try to knock that out, but I need to find my Guzma for game. And I'm going to try to force him to knock. How many Guzmas has he played? Because uh, I think it's kind of greedy if I do this. He hasn't played any Guzma, so I'm sure he has Guzmas in hand. Okay, so new game plan. We have to structure back in the Rotom and draw it. Uh, yeah, we have to do this now. One, two, and three. And then we're going to have to try our best to draw it here. So, let's see if we can pull it off. If we can draw both Guzma and Heat Rotom, or a way to get Heat Rotom and Guzma. Uh, we did not. In fact, we drew everything but those cards. <laughs> that is unfortunate, to say the least. Well, we can't exactly do much else here i can marsh shadow him and bait him to take a knockout next turn uh i don't think that's the right play though so hopefully he doesn't have guzma i guess i'm gonna if i marsh shadow him he might not get guzma which is good for me so we're gonna do that and hopefully this can draw me something actually useful do we just have our other two guzmas prize because if that's the case then whatever gg and that's like big lame Hopefully he takes a knockout, I guess. I don't know. I think our other two Guzmas are prized. I honestly think that's the case. Because uh, we have to win. Like, he has to knock... If he doesn't knock me out this turn, we lose, right? If he doesn't knock out a spell tag Pokemon, we just lost the game. It looks like he's going to, because he's just manually switching. Yeah, okay, he's just knocking me out. Okay, so I can knock out Vulpix. If we have both Guzmas prized, both remaining Guzmas prized, assuming we only played two, right? No, we played three. There's only one more left. Oh, I thought we had two more left. I guess I discarded one the other day. Uh, the other, uh, at some point, I mean, the other day. All right, so we have to find our last Guzma if we're going to win this game. Uh, so, whether either it's either we win by getting it off the prizes or we lose because of the deck out. One of the, one of the, one of the other is going to happen. You should have healed that Vulpix. All right, so let's see if we can pull this off. It's all down to this now. We have to find, yeah, we have to find it here. Come on. If you're prized, please be here. Oh no, I think it's, I think we lost. <laughs> it's all down to this. <laughs> please be in the deck. I'm asking you nicely. Please be in the deck. Are you in the deck? Oh, it is. Oh, yay. All right, we win. <laughs> oh, yay. Uh, all right, cool. Um, yep, sprint. 
Okay, it wasn't a deck at least. So we just we're just really bad at drawing cards. But we got it. <laughs> we barely got it. Dude, frying pan, man, the killer. The killer frying pan. Alright. Can we play like seven Guzmas? Is that is that allowed? Can we make that a thing instead? Can I just play seven Guzmas? I'd like that. <laughs> Alright, let's get one more game. That game was very stressful. It was very stressful, but I have to finish because I we have to start vacuuming these things. We got we got to clean the house. I gotta leave soon. All right, let's see if we can see if we can win this game here. So, I mean, that game should have been impossible to win, to be honest, because he played like every counter card possible, max pushing and <laughs> and frying pans. He actually played every counter game possible, every counter card possible. We managed to squeeze that one out. So, um, don't call it a comeback. This opening hand is pretty good, actually. We can discard all the tools in our hand. We have a couple treasures that can get us Marsh Shadows. We even have Sightseer, which is really good. So uh, we're going second, which is not great, but at least we can... Well, it's always playing this spell tag. Deck. Okay, so this matchup is pretty good for us, kind of. If we don't start getting attacks off as early as possible, it's not good. But uh, this, this is the deck that won a special event. I might have to cover this deck at some point. It's just essentially a spread deck that plays Poison Barb and a bunch of Survivors. So... Uh, luckily, everything gets O-Code by Rotom, so the game plan is to just attack with Rotom a bunch and to save all my Guzmas and things like that, or Guzmaing between two Rotoms. So that's going to be what we try to do here. Luckily, we have the cards in our hand that we need. We even have more tools, so let's go ahead and grab a Rotom first. We can toss this Heat Rotom because we don't need it. Um, let's just use the Adventure Satchel, and then we're going to probably play Marsh Shadow, depending on what we draw here. Uh, actually, we're going to have to put in a Skateboard in our hand so we can switch and then we can just toss i guess choice helmet because we don't need these because we have spell tech in hand too but i'm probably going to toss this spell tech although i probably shouldn't actually now that i think about it in fact i'm just gonna chill i think put this here yeah i don't i don't need to go super hardcore um in fact do i even want to sightseer is my marsh shadow no i should probably sightseer no we don't need to sightseer because we don't have any tools in our hand to discard we'll just discard choice helmet here and get, get marsh shadow and then hopefully Marsh Shadow can hook us up with a couple of, uh, like, a, maybe like a Lily or something, so we can draw a bunch, because it's still our first turn. Uh, we did not get Lily, but we got another Marsh Shadow. We have Shrine of Punishment, which is useless, because he doesn't play any GXs. But it's more tools in the discard pile we can throw down. And we can go ahead and grab ourselves another Rotom. And that's two Rotoms down, and we can play this other Marsh Shadow in hand and just draw another four cards. And hopefully we can find a Supporter. Like, I, I draw a Supporter, I should say. And we did, we drew, we drew Lily, so exactly what I wanted. So I ended up working out quite nicely. So we just drew a bunch of cards. <laughs> and we got no way to discard any cards in our hand or ways to search tools. So I guess some could say it doesn't matter. I can say it doesn't matter. In fact, I'm kind of mad that it didn't matter, but it's fine, we're here. <laughs> we have Sightseer, I guess, so we can discard like a couple tools next turn. And these Rotoms that we don't need. Although Mo Rotom is pretty good just because we can discard uh, special energies with Mo Rotom. And with spell tags and things like that, it could be pretty handy. But I think overall, I'm probably just going to play Cynthia. And hopefully we can find more Ultra Balls. Although we already found one Ultra Ball and two Treasures, so we have to be careful here. Uh, Adventure Bag would be like the perfect card to find, right? Because then I could discard a couple more tools. We've already discarded uh, one, two, three. That's not bad for turn one, I guess. There's a Kakui. I guess it doesn't. I mean, if that's his draw support of return, then our disruption worked out pretty nicely. Does he have a way to switch? Because he needs to start spreading damage if he's going to win. But he doesn't. He also needs to find a DC too, or another counter energy. Oh, I guess he's just choosing the pass. All right, I'll take it, bro. The more turns for me, the better. Uh, no adventure satchel. I do think I have to play Cynthia here because uh, I don't need any. I don't want any of these cards in my hand right now. So we'll do it. We'll go ahead and just play Cynthia. Yeah, because those are all mid-game cards. No way to discard. This hand would have been amazing if we had a way to discard. I'm going to play this Shrine because that means he can't play his own Shrine, which means he's stuck more. Hopefully we can find a way to discard next turn. I still need an Ultra Ball to find Sub Striker. That's what I was digging for right there. So, dude, imagine if we had Sub Striker here. We could have put another four tools in the discard pile. One, two, three, four, five. That would have been, 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 been game. If we just found a single Ultra Ball. If we found Ultra Ball over this Guzma, oh, that would have been amazing. We would have actually won. Because uh, we have to make sure we're not a whole turn behind. It looks like we're going to be a whole turn behind. So luckily, because we played Shrine, he can't play his own Shrine, which means he has four more, three or four more cards of Clutter in his hand. I think he plays like three Shrines. I don't know. I haven't actually seen the list. Poison Barb's kind of annoying because then he's going to take knockouts, but can he retreat? It's a two energy retreat, right? So he's just choosing to like attach energies 
mindlessly. He needs those counter energies. Like, he needs them to actually win the game. He's going to lose the game now. He's going to run out of energy cards. There's no way to recover these energies. Whatever. I'm not complaining. I'll take the dub. Yeah, he can't just attach mindlessly. He needs to actually just save those attachments because he's going to run out of attachments. Okay, Ultra Ball's not bad. Uh, this gets us up strike, actually. So Ultra Ball's amazing. Um, yeah. Ultra Ball's really good here. Uh, do we want a Guzma? I kind of want a Guzma. Because this, this should be enough for Knockout, right? Because there'll be nine, because I think we just discussed that. Double check, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're one short. Never mind. Right? One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, we're still one short. That's not, that's not super good. All right. So we can't Guzma then. Uh, we're going to have to just bite the bullet here. We don't need these. Um, I think I'm going to also bite the bullet and touch the spell tag because I don't think we're going... <sighs> but, like, he's probably going to knock me out with poison damage a lot, right? No. I'm going to take... If I take a knockout here, he has one. I'm doing three damage counters. Another three back. So as long as he doesn't find another survivor, he should be able... Oh, uh... No. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just discard the whole hand then. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Come on. Oh, unfortunate. I mean, we have Sightseer, which will draw us two more cards. Uh, we don't... Don't... don't yeah, we're going to have to just draw. I'm going to keep my hand the way it is, though, because I like my hand. Unfortunate, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll just pass. One short. That sucks. There's a lotto. What can you do with that, though? Just attach another useless counter energy? I don't know, man. Kikui is okay. I mean, we're not being poisoned, at least. What is he going to do, though? Like, is he... Can he... He's going to attach it to mainly retreat? This can't even take a knockout on us. More poison barbs. Can he switch? He, can he... Does he have a switch in his hand? He can't play Guzma. Spell tag gets the proc if I if he attacks with Latios next turn. All right, cool. All we need to do is discard one more card, which we have. I don't like discarding spell tag at all. I'm gonna knock out a Coco. I'm gonna knock out a Coco. I'll keep this March out on. No, I won't keep March out on hand. I'm probably not gonna use it anytime soon. Um, yeah, give me a Coco. These are the, these are the threats, to be honest. They have free retreat. Um, everything else doesn't matter as much. I can Oko Latios. Retreat. Play you down. Meh. Never mind. Plasma Slice. Oh, I should have kept that Guzma around, actually. I forgot. I forgot I have to use Guzma like every other turn. I mean, yeah, oh man, that was kind of silly on me, actually. We already lost two Guzmas. I have to be really careful. I might just throw, you know what? Palpad doesn't sound bad in here. I might throw in like a bunch of Palpads. Like two. That's a bunch. <laughs> okay, so I think this deck actually would get tremendously better if we had Palpads. Because then we can just continuously shuffle back in Guzmas. Which is kind of what's been killing us this game. Is not having our Guzmas. So I think Guzma would be, if we can find, if we can make space for one or two Palpads, it could really make or break this deck. So I'm going to try to do that next. Uh, if I can, like, find a Guzma off of these cards, I'm down to clown with that. Because Guzma sounds really good. Rainbow Energies, too. I didn't realize they played Rainbow. I haven't even looked at the list yet, so I'm gonna have to try to find that list here soon. Breakthrough, the other damage going to the other Rotom. Okay, so I need to attack a non-Poison Barb Pokemon. So we're going to sprint here, unfortunately. I was hoping we could draw an Ultra Ball so I can shuffle back in the Rotom. But we're just going to sprint here. Let's see if we can find Guzma. That'd be like best case scenario. We did not find Guzma. Um, but we don't really need to do much else here. We don't get hit for weakness. I just remembered. <laughs> I just realized, I mean, that uh, we're fine. We're probably we're not going to be knocked out next turn. Poison Barb will knock us out. 
So if I can find my last spell tag, that could be pretty good. Yeah. For the time being though, we're just I'm just gonna pass. He's not gonna take two prizes. Um, we're gonna take another prize. So we should be ahead of the prize exchange now. The prize race should be in our favor. Uh, Mo, uh, fan Rotom's gonna be pretty good because then we can attack with our other, ro other Rotoms for knockout. But here we're just chilling. He's going for the other one. Okay, cool. And we are set to go. Oh, there's our Guzma. All right, so I'm actually gonna hold on to this hand because we have Guzma. Yeah. No. Maybe. We'll Sightseer. No, we won't. This hand's really good. We'll just Plasma Sights. We'll get knocked out here. Uh, which is fine. This is Cynthia. I doubt this deck plays Blower, so I'm actually just going to go into my Zep Striker here. I guess it doesn't matter if he's going to attack me with Coco, huh? But just in case. No, if he's attacking me with Coco, then we're going to, yeah, we're going to go into Rotom anyways. Alright. We take another knockout here, and then the things continue to knock me on exchange. But as long as we can trade prizes efficiently, like we're doing right now, we should be okay. We're going to shuffle back in three Rotoms at some point. Uh, probably just two, actually, but the point still stands. He'll only take, yeah, he's not going to take multiple knockouts on the same turn at this rate, so we should be okay. Just attack every other turn here. Um, yep, let's go ahead and Plasma Slice. He'll attack me with Coco next turn, I get some two prizes. Actually, that's kind of, kind of important. I don't think it matters. It kind of matters, though. We can Guzma and knock out one of these dudes. It's fine. We'll be okay. Because eventually his counter energy won't work anymore. And he'll have to rely exclusively on DCEs. He'll take two prizes. He'll, he'll even up the prize race, which means we're still ahead because we're a turn ahead. Yeah, all, all he can do is even up the prize race right now. We're also going to have to play Marshadow at some point to disrupt him a little bit. There's another DCE. Uh, if he can, Oh, that's scary. We're going to have to Guzma this dude up. Actually, I take it back. That's, this is the biggest threat to us. So I think we're going to Guzma and Marshadow. Because this is this dude is a threat. Uh, he's actually going to win if we leave these Cocos alive, though. I shall back in the Rotoms. I'm trying to think how, how I'm going to win this game. I don't know right now. I think we have to play down Marshadow and Guzma up the dude over here. But he's going to take two prizes at once. So I can't hit into Poison Barb. Like ever. So we're going to have to Guzma up this first. Because this is a threat. And we have to find another Guzma. Uh, I'm afraid of... I don't think I need a stretcher this turn. But I do want to play a Marsh Shadow, I think. If we have another one left. But I don't want to lose draw supporters in the, in the process. We can also still sprint. So I think we're safe to do this. Because even if we draw nothing off of the Marsh Shadow, we can still sprint. And I don't want him to have that many cards in his hand. We also have to find more Psychic Rotoms, and we, we have to find one more Psychic Rotom, and we have to find Guzma. I probably should have checked my deck for Guzma. It's fine, though. We're already here. Alright, so I think we might lose this. But it's okay. We have the Psychic Rotom. Um, we're a little bit in, like, Worry Town right now. There's nothing I want to discard from my deck, I think. I think that's all the attackers that are left. So I can Zep Strike it here just to dig real deep and try to find that those last couple of Guzmans because that's kind of how I'm going to win this game. We have a draw support and Zep Strike every turn anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, all right, we got a Guzma here, which works out quite nicely. So we can take a knockout here. And uh, we, as long as we can Guzma next turn, uh, which we can, we should win this game, right? Because Guzma means that we can attack one more Pokemon without Poison Barb, take a knockout on it, and then we just have to attack one more time per game. And we have the remaining Rotoms in our deck to do it. 
So we can take two prizes off both of our um, both of our um, Marshadows, but he won't be able to take three prizes per game. The, the issue is counter gains to counter energy too, which means he needs to not find Stretcher, which he's already played, I believe. Oh, he hasn't played any yet. So if he can't find, as long as he doesn't find Stretcher into counter energy, he should be okay. But he probably will find it. <laughs> so we're gonna lose but if he whiffs it we're okay that's the whole reason why we're playing more shadows that he might whiff it i have to attack this next turn uh i might have to attack this next turn <laughs> i take it back this might have to go yeah he, he has lost i believe three dces yeah three dces and two counter energies um and now it's all four dcs yeah i'm definitely attacking this next turn with kuzma Yep. And in case he plays like a surprise Marshadow of his own, I'm going to thin my deck a little bit. Uh, grab these. In fact, that can win us the game. That's pretty handy. Oh, this actually might win us the game altogether. Right there. Uh, one more spell tag. Nothing. Grab these escape boards. I'll we'll just attack here. All right. So I think we won this game. I don't know if he can take three prizes at the same time. I mean, he can if he finds the Lele, because uh, we have enough damage on board for him to take three prizes, I believe. 60, 120, 180, 200, 240. 240 means he gets 70, 140. Yeah, he, he gets it. 240 is enough. 240 is enough for exactly three prizes, actually. It's not exactly three prizes. It's exactly three prizes plus 40 extra damage counters, or four extra damage counters. Oh, okay. Does he have it? Oh, he has it. Well played. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Um, I mean, we won one game. Uh, we won one stressful game and we lost the other one. Uh, I forgot about Lele. <laughs> but there wasn't anything I could do there. I could have just not benched things, but if I don't bench things, I lose anyways. Uh, whoops. I don't want to copy this deck, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, then. Uh, I do think Pal Pad is the way to go, though. I just don't know what I cut for it. Uh, the other way to go was to actually use our spell tags. <laughs> I feel like if we could use our spell tags every time we could have won as well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the deck is still, it's not still not a perfect deck because you have to find your combo pieces. It's very heavy combo. It's a very heavy combo oriented, orient, a very heavy combo deck. So if you can pull it off, that's great. Uh, you just have to draw well, right? I don't know what I can do to make this deck a little bit more consistent. I can cut things like Frost Rotom. Um, that's actually probably the first thing to go if I want to play this deck again for one pal pad. Um, I like that idea. Other things you can cut is you can just completely cut out all Cynthia's and play TV Reporter. Because between Zeb Stryka, you can cut out all Lilies. Actually, I want to keep the Lilies around because you, you want to try to get a turn Lily, kind of. But you can play like four, uh, four uh, Sightseer, maybe four TV Reporter. That would be more draw, more discard. Because the whole point of this deck, right, is to draw into your combos and just discard as much as you can. Because you want to get that early game discard. And then like Zep Striker can kind of carry you the rest of the game. So that wouldn't be a bad idea. That's something worth trying, actually. I might try that in a future video. We'll see. Maybe, probably on the stream. Maybe not a video. But for now, this is the deck list, I think. I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. I think the Marsh Shadow is a really cool add in this deck, so I definitely want to keep that Marsh Shadow around. I don't think, I, I don't think I'll play the Electric Rotom. The Electric Rotom could have, in theory, helped us in that in that game versus versus uh, Metagross, but extra Guzmas would have also helped us. So and so the Pal Pack kind of covers that matchup. As far as everything else goes, like we hit Psychic Weakness, so we should be able to knock out should be able to handle decks like Malamar and stuff, especially since we have our own spell tags. Uh, we have our own spread as well, so we're going to attack with that Psychic Rotom, or the Fan Rotom as well. Uh, and then these are just good for Lycanroc, because we can hit, if we hit them for 180 with a Choice Ban, and then with like a Shrine Tick, or maybe like a, spell, a couple Spell Tag Ticks, that's a knockout. I do think I like Spell Tag over Poison Barb. I'm not the biggest fan of Poison Barb in this deck, because it's just easy to switch around anyways, especially since all these decks play Free Repeaters or Skateboards, and, um, you know... Those, those get easily handled. Uh, one, four damage counters is better than the maybe one you're getting. Heat Rotom, obviously we showed off Heat Rotom. And yeah. Also, there's a lot of Quagsires out there. So <laughs> Mo Rotom is really good for Quagsire. 
and not Nagan Adels, which is why it's like you're ready to Nagan Adels. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, sorry that we didn't get mainly wins. This is the first time we went negative, bro. We haven't gone negative in a video in forever. Dude, it's okay. It's all right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.